good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Friand and these are my Italian one take property tours. Now, before we get to the tour, you know where I am. Well, some of you will. Como, Lake Como, unbelievable. It's heaven on earth. And I arrived last night, I stayed in Como, and this morning I basically took my car and wound my way up the hill until we arrived at this little place which is called San Maurizio, and it is enchanting. It really is. And there's one, two, three little restaurants, there's a couple of hotels. It's just fantastic. Now, today's tour is a property which I haven't seen yet. Um, and my good friend, Gemma Bruce, thank you, Gemma, called me and said, would you like to tour this house which is coming up for auction? I mean, that's interesting. Auction, eh? Hmm, yes, I would. <laughs> and so if you, at the end of this video, say to yourself, yes, I do want to bid on that property, just send us an email at info at abodeitaly.com. Are you ready? Let's go. I've just been shown around the house by the owner and she has absolutely exquisite style. And when we get inside this property and I show you the interiors and you just, it is just the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. The grounds, the house, 1892. Liberty style, you know I love it, and it's it's just gorgeous. We've got so much to do. I will not be able to do this all in one take. It's just an impossibility, but I will do my very best to go and rummage in all spaces. Now, the first thing we're going to do is the Liberty style property and the interior, and then I'm gonna show you the grounds, and then we're going to go up into the guest house. Now, let's go. As I come through, the camera will adjust, and I'm just gonna open that door a little bit. And all I can say to you is, this is just the most beautiful, absolutely beautiful property, which I think I've been in. The owner collects antique furniture and immediately that you can see from this property, the, just the quality and the taste and the thought that's gone into it. Now, as I mentioned to you, this is a Liberty style house, which is in the style of Art Nouveau. And if I pull up to the ceiling as we come round, you will see this beautiful painted Art Nouveau ceiling. Oh, it's just so, it's just so chic. It really is. Beautiful wooden floors everywhere. Fireplaces in almost all the rooms. Oh, it's, it's stunning. Wooden floorboards. Okay, so now we're going to pop into a small auxiliary room coming off the main living room. And it has far reaching views. And from this property, you can see all the way to Milan. No, it's, it's, it's stunning. Now there is an opportunity to purchase a number of the items in the house. 
I know there's not the full list at this moment in time, um, but obviously that we can get to that later if anybody is interested. Look at the colors. As we come through into another reception room. Again, you've got an Art Nouveau ceiling. And a beautiful fireplace. Let me just see whether I can just come over and show you that. Yeah, be no stereo. It's quite old now because it's got a it's got a tape in it. <laughs> yeah, technology really. Oh, the doors are just wonderful. The cornicing and. So what we've done so far is that we've done a little loop around the property and we're coming back into the hallway. And I'm just going to show you the boot room. If any of you who have watched my videos, you know that I love Fornizetti and that is Fornizetti wallpaper. Stunning. Right, let's pop upstairs and I will show you the bedrooms and then we're going to go downstairs to this just phenomenal kitchen. It's, I mean, what beautiful taste the owners have. Everywhere you look, there's something of beauty. And just uh, for me, this wrought iron balustrade going up the stairs is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love the fact that it's got original flooring and then a mixture of stone as well. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Beautiful old radiators. And we're going to pop into this room now. And the attention to detail, attention to detail. You know, the, the bedspread is the same color as the walls. So beautiful, this house, it really is just stunning. I'm going to put my head out of the window at a later stage, but let's just keep going with the tour. One of the things which I did see, which I thought was really interesting, and I hope you do too, is that this door is recessed into the panelling. But if I manage, can I open it? You see here, <laughs> if I come down, they've put a hole and a recess so that the handle and the key can fit inside it. I think that's great. 
Now, like a lot of Italian houses, one room leads to another, and this room is no exception. And what a gorgeous room. There's going to be a lot of gorgeous going on, you know. <laughs> there really is today. It really... I just think that, you know, the owners have done such a beautiful job. Now, there are a number of bathrooms in a similar vein, and they have all been done in marble. And what I can see is an English make of white and that is called Devon and Devon. I think uh, I really don't need to say very much about that. Well, <laughs> yeah, absolutely wonderful. I'm just going to come down and show you the flooring because I think it's really important. Can you hear it creaking? I hope so. Now I'm not going to go into the space which is in front of me. I know some of you will be uh, really saying, why Nick, why? But it is a private space. Look at this hallway. Oh. Now, this is the owner's house, um, but the main house, or let's just say the additional house, which is here, um, is rented out for guests. You can come and stay here. You can't stay in this particular house, but you can come and stay here. Um, the rooms are absolutely charming and there are five of them and I'm going to finish this tour today in the main reception room for the guests. Now as we come up we are going to go up into the private quarters And, uh, I mean, look, isn't that incredible? All right, up the stairs we go. And now we're going to enter into the master bedroom. To the left of me, there are the whole wall is built in closets, but there are two additional rooms for his and her dressing rooms. Now I'm going to pull the camera out so you can get a view of oh, the vista as the camera adjusts and we're going to go onto the terrace and we're looking over a part of Como and the view is endless. And you can see all the way to Milan. The grounds are superb. I love the pitch on the roof. Yeah, I'm just going to come around slowly and show you that. The colours are just lovely. And the way that they finish the doors and they're slightly on and off, off cream or you know, off white. 
and then they've matched the, matched the color uh, around within the woodwork against the walls. And this beam here going up to the apex of the property, if I come up here. Really. Now I probably would want to uh, negotiate the furniture as well. They just have such beautiful style. Oh, imagine this as your dressing room, the top floor of the house. I mean, look, if I put up here, look at the woodwork on here. Oh, that's just so beautiful. Oh, it really is just charming. And I can see an old Vogue cover. Oh, that's Twiggy. Maybe uh, it was shot by uh, the one and only David Bailey. An incredible photographer he is. And then you've got this other, this is the tower room going through. Yeah, chic. Louis Vuitton. No. No, oh, everything about it is beautiful. It really is. And then I'm just going to turn to the left so you can get a return. Beautiful built-in cupboards everywhere. And I really love the shop furniture um, which they have purchased to put their knickknacks away. Oh, it's just so wonderful. It is a privileged, it's a privilege, I should say. Wow. Now I'm just going to put my head through the door of the bathroom, just to give you an idea of that. It's not huge, but it's so beautiful. Right, we're going to have a little cut and I'm going to walk down the stairs and we can continue the tour. Okay, now I've just come down to the ground floor again and I just feel I should show you the guest toilet as well or powder room. Now that's Farron and Ball wallpaper. That is an English company and they make paint, wallpaper and fabrics and they are absolutely fantastic. Such a beautiful staircase. Right, down we go. So here we are on the, well, I would say the lower ground level, but it's not the lower ground level because it's at the back side or the uh, west side of the house. And now we are coming into the main kitchen area and you have just a wonderful, arched terracotta ceiling. A gorgeous <laughs> fireplace. 
in the corner and we're going to walk over to uh, the other side and then I'm going to give you the return. Beautiful uh, copper pots and pans. And I love the uh, wallpaper, don't you? I mean, I just think it's so much fun. Oh, look at the kitchen. Oh, hello, Puss Cat. It's... It is... <laughs> I don't know really what to say about it. What I do know is that this iron range came from France. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that is absolutely stunningly beautiful. All the appliances that you need, big fridge freezer, dishwasher, and then just look as the camera adjusts and we go out to your breakfast room. What a place. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Right, the garden. Okay, now we're walking down past the house and to the garden and pool seating area. The sun has just popped in, or popped behind a cloud. But we are going to uh, continue the tour. The pool is not that huge, but I think there might be an issue with the planning regulations, but it's big enough. It really is. And the grass is lush and thick. And then if we come over here to the outdoor gazebo and your area of relaxation and you look up and you have your own little tower. Now in that they have the powder room and there are stairs going to the, on the outside that you can climb to the top. Now, as I pull back and around, you will see the enormity and total splendor of this estate. Incredible. What a joy. Right, as I mentioned, there are five guest houses or guest apartments, and we are going to go and have a look at a couple of those right now. Okay, we're walking along the gravel path to now the the guest suites. And along here, you have three apartments. And I think we're going to go into this one. Beautiful. Now, some of you who have watched my videos will know that uh, I always keep on griping on plastic air conditioning units, 
that the owners here have come up with such a simple solution and that's just paint it. <laughs> really? I will be so happy to stay here. What a charming room this is. And I just adore the wood flooring. I really do. I'm gonna show you this. Now that's architectural salvage. And they are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then you have a lovely shower room. And then if I come down and I show you the shower flooring, you think to yourself that uh, why would they put wood in the shower but it's actually not it's stone designed to look like wood i'm going to get a bit further so the camera will adjust a little bit better there oh what a fantastic idea yep i'm going to copy that plagiarism is the best form of flattery Stunning. Really is just beautiful. Now the rooms here are rented for 300 euros a night. And I think that is excellent value. And I would be so happy to stay here. The grounds are my, they are just beautiful. Look at the attention to detail. You can immediately see that it's so well managed. Now the owner has told me that basically they are chock-a-block for the entire summer period and I, I, there's no reason why they wouldn't be. And the amount of income actually pays for the entire management and the staff of the estate. All right, so that was room number four and I'm going to pull around so that you can see the back of the main house. It's like a fairy tale, isn't it? Right, so those are the three suites which are just below the swimming pool. And then we are coming down to the greenhouse. And I, I just wanted to show you this because I just think it's just so wonderful. Look at that. Even the greenhouse is chic. <laughs> okay, so this is where we've just come from. There's the swimming pool and uh, your little folly tower. And just below the garden area, there are the three 
um, private suites. And then if I turn around and just pull the camera back, you are going to see, and I'm going to pull up because it's just adorable. Oh, can you see the woodwork where they're like serpents? You might not be able to see those, but I can see them. They're just above that blind right now. Oh, it's... Everything about it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now, <laughs> and it's not over yet. Let's get round and back down. And if we just go up these stairs in front of us, I just pull the camera around. Oh, beautiful wrought iron gazebo. Oh, that's just adorable. Oh, that's just lovely. Now, look at that. That is the second house. Oh, beautiful Hortensias. They haven't flowered yet, but I'm sure they're going to be amazing. Oh, well, I forgot to show you something. Okay, we're going to go and have a look at this first because it's really important in this area of Como to actually have private parking. And then we're going to come back and go into room number three. Okay, so as I mentioned, the basically parking um, is, can be incredibly difficult. And here, what you have is this, they're just the most incredible parking area. I mean, they look like stables, but it's just phenomenal to have the space as well for parking. Just gonna, I think we're, are we gonna go in? Yes, Nick, we are gonna go in. CCTV cameras everywhere. And what have we got in here? Let's have a look. Right, absolutely everything that one wants. A scooter. Oh, what's that? Well, it's, it's a mini moke. <laughs> oh, they're fantastic. That's what you need to drive around in Como. That's, you know, that's, that's it, isn't it? A, a dream come true. And then you've got the Range Rover at the back. And I know that the owner adores Porsches. And he has one, but it's not here at the moment. Even the garage is chic. So here we go. We come down the stairs from the garage area and then we come up and I'm going to show you one of the bedrooms. Here we go. Now, as I mentioned, there are five bedrooms in, or five suites in total. And this has wooden floors and beautiful, rich colors. Again, what a sweet, what a beautiful room. Let's see if I can just turn on the light. Yeah. See if I can get in there. Oh, lovely. Extractor fan, lovely sink. It's absolutely spotless. 
I love the slippers as well. Well, right, let's go out through, which will be the entrance into your room. Yeah, some very nice 60s chairs. And you yeah, know, I think that, I think Nick, we're going to go into another another suite. Yes, we are. I think that would be a right thing to do. And again, you know, attention to detail. And what they've done is that they've painted. I mean, this is a kind of rich blue, but they've painted the air conditioning unit again. I just think that's fantastic. Now the screen is down. Here you can hear a pin drop here. Beautiful wooden flooring. Oh, look at that mirror. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I want it. Yeah, I would have no problem staying here. I just, uh, I would be in heaven. Right, I'm going to take you upstairs. Now the owner has, uh, one of her employees is an artist. And I'm going up into the elevator and she has painted the wall inside. It's very Russo, isn't it? Oh no, it's just, I mean, look at the attention to detail. I think it's absolutely fantastic. What a beautiful idea. That must have taken some time. I love it. <laughs> absolutely love it. Right, let's get out of here. In we go into the kitchen area and what a kitchen it is. Phenomenal. Oh, oh wow. Remember in the other house where I showed you that just gorgeous <laughs> um, wrought iron range? Well, there's a bigger one. Oh, that's phenomenal. The kitchen is amazing. I can see Fornazetti. As you know, I love, and I can just see it as a place of joy and fun. Right, I'm gonna save the best to last. And we're going to walk into the main reception room. And this is where the guests can come and relax and enjoy. Now this room has air conditioning and that is not a real monkey. <laughs> what a space. Stunning. I'm just going to go across um, up towards the, uh, looks like a 1940s grand piano. Uh, it could be a little bit earlier, actually. It might be Decca. Yeah, I think it is a Decca. Yeah, and then I'm going to give you the return. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Paradise. That's all I can say about this place. Absolute paradise. 
I hope you enjoyed this tour. It, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. I'm so sorry that we weren't able to do, you know, every nook and cranny. Um, there, there's loads of other spaces, you know, there's basically cantinas, um, storage areas, there's um, laundry rooms, um, all the things. But I tried to show you the, the, the best features of this estate today. Now, this property is coming to auction on the 27th of June and the guideline price is 4 million euros. I mean, I've already smashed my piggy bank, but I just haven't been able to get that close. <laughs> if you would like further information about this beautiful house, just send us an email to info at abodeitaly.com. Personally, it's one of the best houses I've seen. Just a garden is half a million euros just on its own. And you've got masses of parking, you've got you know electric gates, you've got CCTV, you have alarms, you've got, it, it is gorgeous. <laughs> I know somebody's gonna say I've used that word a lot today, but it really is. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one-take property tours, although this is not so one-take today. I really hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, it's, just, it's just a magical place. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Take care. Ciao.